As the world community begins to tackle the issue of global warming with renewed seriousness, increasing focus is being turned to the role forests play in the future of the planet. Deforestation is responsible for 17% of the world's carbon dioxide emissions, making it the developing world's largest contributor to global warming. This puts Southeast Asia on the front lines of the climate change battle. Cambodia currently has one of the highest proportions of forest covers in the region, with 59% of the country's surface area covered by trees. But demands for timber and agriculture are placing the country's forests under extreme pressure. Nowhere are these pressures more apparent than in the northwest of the country, which has been losing over 2% of its forest cover every year. Without stops to halt this trend, the region will lose more than a third of its forests in 20 years. And if a healthy forest system is important for the planet, it is critical for the communities that live near the forest. <laughs> To help combat deforestation, the Royal Government of Cambodia's Forestry Administration and its development partners have implemented RED, a groundbreaking program that puts disadvantaged communities at the forefront of the conservation effort. RED, for reduced emissions from deforestation and degradation, is a UN-endorsed mechanism which enables developed countries to financially compensate developing nations for sustainably managing their forests. In Cambodia, this starts with assisting 13 communities in Odomienche province to protect their forests while also enabling them to use the forest's resources to support their livelihoods. The government has granted these communities with the right to sustainably manage almost 68,000 hectares of forest. The project will then sell the carbon sequestered. The revenue generated from the sale of these credits will then return to the communities to help improve their economic circumstances. These funds will make tangible contributions to the quality of life in the communities and a demonstrable difference in their ability to protect the forests. <laughs> The communities and the Forestry Administration establish the boundaries of their community forest and conduct patrols to prevent encroachment in illegal logging. This is one of the world's first red projects to link poor communities with the private sector to address the planet's most pressing issues, poverty and climate change. The project also promotes the enhanced use of non-timber forest products for sustainable income generation opportunities. By encouraging improved methods of harvesting and marketing these products, the project helps improve their profitability. But the forest means more to the villagers than a source of income. There is also a spiritual connection between the people and their forests. This is the first red project to harness the community's passion to protect their forests. Yeah. <laughs> 
hay đôi khi mối đòn ấy miền kịch prom riêng chỉ mối riêng thao ba chỉ mối nâng ăn cà phê để đảm bài đã cầm rong cầm bòn trôi một nòng về nền tiền nên đôi khi chỉ nói sang khăn mối nữa để làm mà rong chạm du hay vào. As the project gains momentum, its sponsors aim to significantly expand its scope. The community's role in sustainably managing some of the world's most precious carbon resources. Red puts Cambodia at the cutting edge of the climate change movement. Red links three vital actors, the government, the private sector and the community to build a more sustainable future for the forests and for the planet.